Kyle. I don't know. If you're I'm on the here. air. Tell me about. Uh, tell me about your life. Or not? I don't want to know everything, Kyle, <laughs> but specifically about the Lyme disease. What? Oh, oh man! You you, you opened right from the. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, from let's the let, let's cut to the chase uh, here. On, on the of Tarantino. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I'm a uh, geocacher. If you don't know what geocaching is, it's a uh, little like GPS based treasure hunt, scavenger hunt type game. Mm. And a lot of geocaching takes place out in the woods, you know, out on trails and whatnot. So before I started doing this, I was never uh, never a hiker, never spent much time outdoors. Um, so I quickly learned that, you know, you're on a trail for a while, sometimes nature calls, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, literally, and, uh, you know, if you're like a couple miles from your car or something, a couple miles from a restroom, you just got to find a spot to take care of business. Hmm. Um, so... <laughs> So yeah, the first time this happened, I'm a I'm a I'm a hairy guy, much like you. Um, so, you know, it's not it's not it's never good. It never comes out clean. So the first time this happened, I uh, you know you always hear this, and I I always thought it was kind of like a joke, but I don't know if you always hear this, but yeah, I I used the uh, leaves to kind of clean up the business back there, mm. and uh, <laughs> which is not preferable. So I quickly learned because, I mean, as far as my normal wiping routine goes, I'm a dry, wet guy. So I'll go, my first first one will be uh, toilet paper, and then I got the baby wipes right by the toilet that second. And then I just kind of go back and forth. You kind of, It's a good way to kind of feel out the situation without okay. having to uh, inspect it after every wipe. Because, I, I, you know. <laughs> so let, so, so oh, yeah. let's go to the, the pivotal let's, moment of the story. Yeah, so... Um, this wasn't, so on another occasion, cause I started packing toilet paper in my like hiking backpack, but, um, on this one particular occasion, I, I had run out or I forgot it. Mm. So I did not have it with me. Right. So, uh, you know, I live up in Rhode Island. We ticks, ticks are a very prevalent thing up here and Lyme disease as well. So, um, <laughs> so I've never had an issue with ticks in my life. On this particular occasion, when I popped the squat, did my business, didn't have the toilet paper, so I just did the leaf technique to, uh, to uh, you know, Kyle, just kind of take care of things a little bit. Kyle, yeah. did you get a tick on your <laughs> anus? Not on my anus, but a oh. couple, like two days later, um, I <laughs> I felt something. Uh, I think actually, I felt something odd in my groin area mm. to say that i don't want to talk about what i was doing what were you doing with Kyle? my hand in the groin <laughs> were you, you you noticed the tick when you were jerking off that, you said that Ethan, kyle, me. kyle kyle um, kyle <laughs> were you able to finish <laughs> did you finish jerking off when you when you found the tick or, or did you decide to deal with it at the time or later Oh no! I mean that that ruined the moment. Yeah. So I had I I, I couldn't see what was going on. I was in bed by now, myself. Now where on alone the night, where you know? on your groin was the tick located? It was like right in there. Like I'm a big dude, so you know, like deep. I got some I got thick thighs. Sure. You know, yeah. I got yeah. the thickness like you. So so it was in. That's why I probably missed it because I always do like a check. Uh, after well, I'm where, done, it, it, it was it was like. Um, like between was, the balls and the, it and the was, thigh, it, it was deep. It was like it was it. It was in there, it, and it. But was like when you say deep, it was it, it was, was it under the balls? Was it between the balls and the thigh? Was it next to the penis? It was, it shaft? was right. It was like yeah, in the ball between the ball thigh area. Wow. Yeah, right over there. <laughs> that's how. That's how I felt. I felt. I felt when so I. So you must I have been. That area. Hmm, so you must I, have been cupping your balls or something when you were jerking off, right? To feel that there. <laughs> well, not. <laughs> You must have been doing a little something special for yourself. Yeah, you know. You, yeah, no, you, know, you got to treat yourself. You I gotta, totally. You things up. Yeah, definitely, most definitely. So, so um, what what happens yeah, when so, you have a tick there? What do you do? Good question. Well, yeah. So I mean, you know, it, 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 as someone, you know, you spend time hiking and whatnot, that, especially around here. You know, you always hear about it. So, I mean, I was freaking out first of all because I never had a tick bite before. So I already knew the the. You want How to did do you get rid of it? When you want it, when you, yeah. So when you take it out, 
you don't want to like break the tick's body or leave it. Because right. it was in like underneath. It's like it's burrowed in the skin. Like some of it. So did so you the, the technique? Yeah, did, I use like tweezers to right. pull it out. That's like and it. And you that, spin it right. You grab it and then you you rotate it right. Right, right, yeah. And it was tough. You know, it was tricky and hard to see. But, probably. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, I started. Do you well, do you trim your pubic hair or are you fully uh, bushed? It's a, it depends when 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 at the time. <laughs> you know when when it's um it was probably some bush happening at that time. Right, so was, like the said, visi- visibility guy, so. was low. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bushwhacking going on. Oh you know, <laughs> man, when, when, and so um, this <laughs> this son of a bitch gave you Lyme disease. Yeah, I, I started wow. feeling really shitty. Oh my wow. god, and, that's uh, had, horrible. And now I just, it's like it, it's you know Lyme is a terrible thing. I mean, I don't have it as bad as some people, but it's kind of just with me now. Like every <sighs> like wow. once yeah. a year, this happened about three years, two years ago maybe, and um, yeah. So like once every, you know, once or twice a year now, like. I always have like really bad migraines, like body aches. It so, just kind of shuts me down for like a day. Mm. It's just like with me, even though I went on antibiotics and whatnot, it's just something that sometimes it gets rid of it completely. Sometimes it just lingers with you. So what is the kind of moral of this story? I'm wondering. Don't hike. Don't hike. Don't go out in nature. Moral, the, moral, <laughs> the moral of the story is, um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the moral of the What is the, what is the, uh, the what are we getting out of this, Kyle? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm not really. Sh- I was going down a different path when I was talking to Ian, and then somehow we got on this story. And he liked it. Well, so damn. I'm I gotta like, tell you. Right. Well, I'm sorry you got Lyme disease. Yeah. That's awful. But on the plus side, I mean, the masturbating probably yeah. was was definitely worked in your favor in this time. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. If it would have stayed longer, it would have been even worse off. So. Really? So I'm is glad, that it? Uh, the longer the ticks in you, the worse the Lyme disease. Yeah, because I oh had a God. bite another time, like, and um. I noticed, I know for a fact, I noticed it within like, you know, an hour. So mm. it had, for the most part, people say it has to be in there for like 24 to 72 hours mm. for that to be uh, transmitted. So, well, Kyle, uh, I'm, I'm very glad you that's decided why it was to. There, it was in there for like two days. So Ooh. very glad you decided Pretty to rough. masturbate that on that when you did. <laughs> And I thank you, you know for me, sharing I, for sharing that story with me. But I am yeah. I'm also curious. What is it you said? What the hell are you doing out in the forest? You're looking for treasure. <laughs> yeah, there's, so it's this uh, game, I guess, hobby you might call it, it's called geocaching. Huh. So uh, basically, what it is is someone like me or whoever else geocaches hides a container somewhere out in the woods or out. So there's some in the. I mean, there are over three million of these geocaches around the world. Basically, people go look for them. They use like GPS coordinates to find where they are. Once you're ah. like in the location, then it's, you have to try so to find it. It's a game. It's like a and sur- then, uh, yeah. Is it? Is there something yeah, valuable then, like, in this yeah, box? Yeah. What do you find? What's going on in this box? Is it other than just well, uh, ticks with Lyme well, disease? I mean, you know, there, there will be <laughs> there will be like little trinkets inside. The rule is, if you oh, take okay. something out of it, you're supposed to put something back in. Mm. Um, do you still geocache? Way, always, uh, uh, what, sorry, what was that? Do you still geocache? Or was it ruined for you? Oh uh, yeah, I do. God mm-hmm. bless. Uh, it, 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 ha- it definitely has ruined being outdoors. I'm way more paranoid now. Whenever I am out in the woods, I <laughs> used to like do tick ch- checks only whenever I got back to the car after you know I was done. Now it's like every twenty to thirty minutes imagine. on the trail. I'm like, well, oh, you know, what? Let, let me check. Yeah, and well, thank you, Kyle, for sharing your story. I yeah. hope this is a cautionary tale to everyone out there. Don't go outside. I mean, that's the moral that I pulled from this. Don't go outside ever. If you do go outside, you do go outside don't expose your asshole to the, to right. the, to the condition. Don't, yeah, right, exactly. Keep your asshole <laughs> clean and covered, my dudes. Kyle, thank you for sharing that wonderful story with us, and I wish yeah. you all the best, and I hope that Lyme disease, Absolutely. you know, keep does, cashing. Does it, yeah, keep cashing, my dog. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Right. Always, always end with a wet one, my dude.